Yo, what up? So this is where I'm going to really let you in on some of my secret formulas here. The mad science be behind organic gardening. So right here I've got a three gallon glass carboy and I mixed up my nutrient solution. And this is the magic that's going to bring my soil to life. Um, it's just going to really enhance the microbial activity. And this is the way I do it. So this is like a relatively new product that I've been working with um, since moving out to the East Coast because some of the fertilizers that I've traditionally used are not as readily available here. So anyways, I've always been curious about Neptune's Harvest. I've heard of it before. It's organic, all my certified, and it's a fish and seaweed fertilizer. 231. So, you know, the 231 is very basic, indicating of your macronutrients, your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. All right, so, so those are kind of the essential things that you need, that plants need to grow, you know, along with a lot of micronutrients. And, um, but basically what I, you know, without all that scientific jargon bullshit, whatever the hell that is, uh, fish and seaweed have, you know, forever made great enhancers to soil and help plants grow. And if you want to know why the redwoods in California grow as big as they do, you know, just you don't have to look much farther than the Pacific Ocean where you'll find, you know, bull kelp that's the fastest growing kelp seaweed in the world and king salmon, in my opinion, one of the greatest fish on the face of the earth. And through, you know, like natural processes and the ecological system, a lot of that is being brought back into the forest and you know composting back into the earth so this is like a natural thing that's been you know noticed picked up on and we love it we love fish and seaweed in our garden it just makes it makes it really come to life you know and i would say like fish um this is a let me show you here this one is a hydrolyzed fish which basically means that it's like cold pressed fish. So it's keeping a lot of the microorganisms alive that are in this fish solution, um, as opposed to, you know, you hear of, of other formulas of fish fertilizers that are using heat and hydrolyzed fish does not use heat. My cat is hungry. Um, so here we got also seaweed and seaweed is just great NPK California bull kelp if you can get that in a liquid formula is high in a natural growing hormone which when you're growing organically a growth hormones gonna help you out so and then also just the seaweeds really good for for the macronutrients and nitrogen phosphorus potassium um, so this particular seaweed is derived from um, what I believe is a seaweed from off the coast of Western Europe, Oscophyllum nodosum. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% on that. Obviously, you know, there's there's really no need to argue over the pronunciation of a dead language. But there you have it. So, fish and seaweed foundation cornerstone organic gardening techniques so I made up a solution of this in the three gallon carboy I ended up using a half cup for the three gallons rule of thumb is take a look at the application rate that any of your fertilizers give and use a quarter of it to start with and maybe work your way up to a half of what they recommend like really don't ever go full strength. You're just overdoing it. It's not necessary. I'm not sure why it's, but that's like a common knowledge in the gardening world is never go full strength. Always use like a quarter of what's recommended and maybe work your way up to a half of what's recommended. So, th so there you have it. I'm going to take my, I've got a watering can. I'm going to pour this solution into my watering can. I'm just going to water it into my bed and it's just going to act as an enhancer. It's going to bring that soil to life. And you're going to see the results, guarantee it. So there you have it. You know, I think that's it for today. And I'm going to work on getting the rest of my beds prepped and doing the same thing with them all. 
And by the time I'm ready to start planting, I'm gonna have a really good foundation to work with. So there you go. Everybody, uh, happy gardening, happy trails. You know, keep your thumbs green and you know, thumbs up. What up, Dave Cho? Peace.